I'm Phil Tarsi with Stalls. You see distress patterns on all sorts of garments in the retail market. Cutting and weeding distress designs can be time consuming, but by using a laser system to cut and etch your designs, you can easily create the sought after look. Today, we will be creating distressed garment transfers using the universal laser system and our CAD cut heat transfer vinyl. I'll begin by setting up my artwork. I'll be using Corel Draw to create our distress patterns. And in our first page, we have five different levels of distressed filters or patterns. I uh, created some of these. Um, a couple of these I actually pulled down from the internet. There are no patterns or filters um, preloaded into Corel Draw, so you will have to either um, acquire them through the internet or purchase them on your own. So um, here's the various levels. On my second page, I have the file that we're going to be uh, uh, applying the filters to. I have the file preset with our blue kiss cut so that way it only cuts through the top layer of the material not all the way through and the red lines are our vector cut. It will actually cut all the way through both layers so that way we have very little or minimal weeding to do. So in order to create this effect I'll go back to page one and power clip it into our transfer. So we'll copy and paste to page two. Now I'm going to do the special effect of power clipping. And as you can see, it goes just into our outline. And that's the only place that the laser will have to etch. It won't have to etch all around it, which will take more time. And then you can still see that our red um, vector cuts and our blue kiss cut is still in place. So from here, all we have to do is create a vector cut box around it to cut the transfer out and then we're ready to send it off to the laser. Now I've prepared all five of these already on a separate page so we're ready to send these over to the universal control panel for processing. The last thing I have to do before that is just mirror these objects because you have to remember anytime you use heat transfer vinyl you have to mirror before cutting. Now we're ready to send these to the to the laser. We'll go to file, print. We have our universal laser system selected. We'll click on preferences. Make sure we have CAD Cut Premium Plus selected. That's what we're using today for a demonstration. Change our print direction. Hit apply, then OK. With the files prepared, now we can send them over to the laser. Okay, so we've removed our transfer from the laser bed and now we're prepared to weed it so we can take it to the heat press and apply it to the garment. As you can see, it has punched out our cavities, so that'll save us some time when it comes to the weeding process. Okay, here's our transfer ready to be applied to the garment. Alright, so now we're ready to load our garment onto our Hotronics Fusion heat press. We're using Premium Plus as our heat transfer material, so I've made the adjustment to the control panel, so let's go ahead and load the garment. And we're going to go to our standard preheat and to check our pressure. We were a little low on the pressure. Let's check it again. And we're good. Let's 
So let's go ahead and place our transfer. And what's great about the laser is you would never be able to create this with a standard vinyl cutter. There's no way they would be able to cut this fine detail and you would never be able to weed something like this. So the laser is definitely the way to go when creating distress transfers. Okay, we're going to use a cover sheet to protect the garment and then finish our application. Premium Plus is a warm or cold pill, so we're going to give this a few seconds to cool down. And now we're ready to remove the carrier. With the laser's ability to etch away the unwanted portion of heat transfer vinyl, you are able to create popular distress transfers with minimal weeding. I'm Phil Tarsi with Stalls. Thanks for watching.